Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my full gaming review of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now I know you guys have been waiting for this video and I've tried to include as many games as I could into this video. So we're talking about the S20 Ultra, Samsung's latest flagship, it retails for uh, $1,400 uh, and this device comes with a myriad of specs. So we know it has a Snapdragon 865 processor which means better gaming performance for us. It can come with either 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM and you've got UFS 3.0 storage. So which means your games are read pretty fast. Now, going back to that RAM, it's got a feature that I really like. It's one of the first features I wanna talk about because a lot of people aren't talking about this. Uh, this is the ability to dock five applications into your RAM storage. So what this simply means is that, hey, you can pick any application you want. In our case here, it's all about games. So we select the games we want and we lock those games in. So even if we clear our memory storage or uh, we drop our phone you know, tonight and wake up the next day, we still jump back into the game directly. There's no loading. It's a really quick process. You might have to connect to the server, but the game is still there in the background. And that is absolutely fantastic and is great. If you are a gamer or gaming focused and you want to quickly jump into your Call of Duty, your PUBG, whatever game you're playing, this is a great feature that I think works really, really well. Now, the other thing about the S20 Ultra it's got is that it has a 6.9 inch display. It is a 120 hertz display and that is at 1080p. Now, what does 120 hertz mean for gaming and uh, what's the key feature there? It means that, look, when you're browsing around just around the phone or on Twitter or something like that, you can see the fluid motion. So it just means animations of are much smoother and, and much more streamlined on screen. So you're playing your games, they look and feel really smooth. But what I like the most is the 240 hertz touch sampling. That for me is a really key feature because when you're actually using the controls of say, you know, Call of Duty Mobile is what I play the most, um, that feels really solid. It feels like you're actually using controls. Your fingers glide really well on the screen and it doesn't feel sticky. You know, that 240 hertz touch sampling is really, really nice and it's great for your FPS uh, shooters, your shooters or games like that that really require that kind of quick movement. So that part is great. But the other thing you guys didn't realize is that this uh, device also supports uh, 120 frames per second. So there's some games that support that. Uh, not every single Android game does. Uh, and some of those games also need to be updated to work with either the processor or this device. Now, games like Cover Fire, Injustice 2, and uh, Shadow Fight 3 support 100, go up to 120 frames per second. So let's take a look at some of those games quickly. So performance is really, really good. I like that. Now, a lot of the games we're gonna showcase are either capped at 60 frames per second, but the 120 hertz display still, it works really well here. Uh, you're gonna see how smooth the motion is. I want you to pay attention to just, you know, when I turn around, I move, uh, different things that happen on screen. So just see how well this actually moves uh, on this display. So let's take a look at a few more games uh, running on the Galaxy S20 Ultra.
Ivy? I agree. Billy Pat. Yeah, catch you later, amigo. <laughs> you just a liability, I'm CJ. The best of. Why you bother coming back? I'm a veterano. I say no joke. So the next thing you're going to ask is what about heat uh, while gaming? Well, Samsung has, of course, its special liquid cooling chamber and temperatures are really solid on this. 94 degrees was the highest I ever got and that was with PUBG. The rest of the games, everything came out to about 90 degrees or so. So I liked, uh, of course, temperatures with this uh, device. Now, something cool I, I found out is that uh, streaming services like Stadia and Project X Cloud uh, also run at 120 frames per second. Not the games, the apps do, just to clarify things. It's just, you remember the games are being streamed onto uh, your phone, uh, whether it's been xCloud or Stadia. So the apps do support 120 frames per second, but again, it's not the game. Just something I wanted to show you guys because it was quite interesting to see that here. Now, a few of you asked about controllers. Now, uh, a lot of controllers actually work well with the S20 uh, Ultra. Your Xbox controller works pretty easily, straightforward Bluetooth. You also have the Jungle Cat controller, which I like, uh, although there is no case for it, but that works, and that worked when I was using it uh, for xCloud. Uh, then you have, of course, the Stadia controller, and that works via USB. 
USB connectivity. And finally, the GLAP or the GLAP, uh, G-Play uh, controller, which is was for the S10. That works well. That actually fits, even though it's a 6.9 inch device, and the camera hump also still rests in there, so that will work. Uh, all the buttons and controls work well, so if you're looking for a controller, those are some of the options I think work well with this device. Uh, you know, with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, um, there's a lot you will get from this as a gamer. You've got really fast charging, uh, which you can check out our, our charging test on there. You've also got some really nice speakers and you can enhance those speakers with sound assistant, which is why I like, because you can set the different uh, volume levels for your different your games in there. So I like that it that is available and something from the Good Luck app. Thank you guys for recommending that. Uh, that's something that I like to use and also balance out my EQs. There's a lot I like in this device. There's some things I don't like as well gaming wise. I want them to fix the, the game center, give me more functionality in there. I also want them to make the display settings easier so you don't have to go to two locations to change from 1080p to 2K and change, also go go out and go to sec different sections to change uh, from 60 hertz to 120. Make it seamless and also give me the op option to just stay at 120 um, uh, 2K resolution. Now, some of you ask, what about battery life with this? Well, uh, I would say it was good. I got a good battery life gaming and having 120 hertz. I would say you will have no problem at least running your device if you game me medium amount of gaming, you probably get about 12 hours of battery life. Again, it's 120 hertz, so that's just putting it out there. I like what the Galaxy S20 Ultra brings for gaming. I like the performance. I like the things I'm seeing. Audio, sound, you name it. Uh, the display, butter. Let me know what you think, guys. If you like this kind of video format for a full gaming review, I will do more reviews like this. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that like button, uh, and always enjoy your entertainment.